Oh, scary. It, yeah, it would have been catastrophic, mm. you know, had it not you know, move quickly enough. Yeah. So it would have been really bad when it slammed into Louisiana as well more than 10,000 years ago. Scientists at LSU have found the remains of a large crater that they believe was called, caused by a meteor impact. Dave McNamara takes us there in the heart of Louisiana. A few miles south of Greensburg, there is a noticeable dip in the road as you drive along Louisiana Highway 37. But it doesn't seem out of place among the gentle hills of St. Helena Parish. Nothing seemed unusual until LSU scientists working for the Louisiana Geological Survey began mapping the area. While we were looking at the topographic maps, we discovered a very strange circular feature. This map, created with laser imaging, shows Highway 37 crossing the north end of that curious depression. This is the circle more than a mile across that caught the eye of Paul Heinrich. Since there are no volcanoes in Louisiana and there are no salt domes in this part of Louisiana, we knew that something strange was happening. The only explanation Heinrich could come up with was a meteor crater. It likely happened within the last 10 to 12,000 years, a time when primitive people inhabited the piney woods of St. Helena. A meteor would have struck without warning, perhaps on a moonlit night. A large space rock is speeding toward the Earth, and once it hits the friction of the Earth's atmosphere, the fireball is only seconds from impact. It would have been a very bad day for anybody who went 20 or 30 miles of here. Like a small nuclear explosion, there would have been like a 10 or 20 mile zone in which, which anybody in anything here would have been either killed or very badly injured. The meteor that made this crater was no small piece of cosmic rock. In fact, when it slammed into the Earth, it was at least 100 feet in diameter. That's similar in size to the meteor that made this crater in Arizona. Heinrich believes the Louisiana crater is slightly larger than this. But erosion and weathering in Louisiana soft soil have erased what was once a massive hole. This is a fracture here, this is a fracture, and this is a fracture. Heinrich has found evidence that proves his theory of a meteor strike. The impact fractured the iron-rich bedrock, and superheated water bleached the sediment. Those fractures are clearly visible near the crater's rim. But the real proof is in tiny pieces of quartz that have similar shock marks, microscopic dark lines that confirm the impact. The only known what manner in which shock quartz is formed is either by meteorite impacts or nuclear tests. It's the fingerprint of a prehistoric catastrophe, the only known meteor crater in Louisiana and one of only 120 on Earth. And it's an example of how we can still make fascinating discoveries about our past. With the heart of Louisiana, Dave McNamara, Fox 8 Local First. Well, so far, scientists have not found the remains of that meteorite. For more information, go online to the Heart of